All views expressed by individuals on this channel are solely their own and do not reflect the opinions of Charlie Internet's trademark. Opinions expressed should not be viewed as a specific inducement to make a particular investment or to make a to follow a particular strategy. This is Charlie Internet's dot capital. And today we're going to talk all about arbitrage, financial arbitrage. All right. I'm sure you're familiar with this concept and term. Uh, you know, arbitrage is like, you ever see those YouTube videos of the guy who goes to a Walmart, buys three cent Nintendo DS games? flips them, sells them on eBay for more money. Uh, that's arbitrage. Or uh, like you see videos of guys go to like a garage sale and lowball the lowball an old lady for a He-Man action figure. Flips it for money, you know, more money. That's arbitrage. Uh, but today we're going to talk about a new kind of arbitrage that we are really excited about here at Charlie Nets. Capital. Um, we're going to call it the Charlie Internet Stock Capital Weekend Financial Market Arbitrage. All right. So what is this? It's finding the arb between the legacy financial market system, whatever, you know, Excuse me. Such as the New York Stock Exchange, uh, you know the legacy system, Monday through Friday, nine to five, and the the new system of uh, crypto currencies, which operate twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, so, what is what is the vehicle for this arb? You have to find something that bridge, bridges the gap between the two worlds. And the vehicle is a little company uh, called MicroStrategies. Uh, if you're familiar with Bitcoin, you probably are familiar with MicroStrategies. CEO Michael Saylor famously bought, put a billion dollars of the Bitcoin on his balance sheet, making his company, for all intents and purposes, a Bitcoin ETF. Um, so where's the ARB? The ARB lies in the fact that you have a publicly traded company working as a Bitcoin ETF that only trades five days a week. Their underlying asset trades seven days a week, 24 hours a day. So when Bitcoin, the underlying asset of MicroStrategies, goes hammer blammer, uh, cray cray time, over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, it creates a rubber banding effect. Rubber bands get tighter and tighter. Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday it snaps. That's the snap, crackle pop. Uh, that's 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 the essence and whole deal behind the Charlie Internet's financial market weekend arbitrage theory. All right, you could take this and uh, you know make some plays, make some plays on it. Uh, but let's take a look at the sticks. Uh, let's take a look at the sticks. Uh, so we got the sticks here. This is a Friday. Each this is a daily candle. Uh, Friday to Monday Bitcoin chart. Uh, so Friday to Monday open. Bitcoin rose 5.29%. Now, this Saturday right here, and then this Sunday right here, you can't trade micro strategy on those days. Not available. Not possible. So, what happens? Saturday, the rubber band gets tightened. Sunday, the rubber band gets tightened even more. Then, Monday, <laughs> snap, crackle, pop. Let's take a look at this. Look at the sticks. Um, 
So yeah, same thing. Friday close. Gaps up. Look at that gap. Gaps up over the weekend. All that pent up demand and snap, crackle, pop. MicroStrategies opens 15% up. That's a 3x over what the underlying asset actually moved. Okay, and that's not even counting what it did Monday morning or Monday trading day. Uh, theoretically at the top from Friday close to the top Monday, 28.77%. That is what the kids call tendies. The kids still say tendies. I do not know. But they said it in January 2021. When, remember the whole GameStop? You guys remember GameStop? Uh, that whole thing? That was weird. Um, tendies. I don't care if no one says it anymore. I'm still saying it. Um, so yeah, that's that's the micro strategy. Charlie Internet's weekend arbitrage financial market dot capital opportunity. And this is why you subscribe to this channel. These hot takes, hot investment takes that is not financial advice. And I would do your own research because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I literally flip, flip, flip burgers for a living. This look at the apartment. And I'm not balling out. This is the whole thing. Want to take a tour? There it is. That's the thing. So, you know, I wouldn't listen to too much of what I have to say financially, but I'm making moves. In. I'm trying to make moves out here off the Charlie Ernest dot capital financial arbitrage opportunity micro strategy dot capital uh, trademark. So I plotted out these weekend opportunities. Okay. These weekend opportunities. Every Monday morning, the snap, I, I plotted out the percentage change Friday close to Monday morning open. The snap, the crackle, the pop between Bitcoin and MicroStrategy. And here are my findings. And it's not, I mean, it's not that surprising, honestly. I mean, you got Bitcoin and orange, of course. When it makes a moves, MicroStrategy acting as the derivative that it is essentially mirrors Bitcoin almost exactly, which is interesting. I mean, it's to be expected, but it's, this is a publicly traded company literally mirroring Bitcoin almost to a T. Um, but just with more velocity. Okay. When Bitcoin's down, MicroStrategy goes down harder. Bitcoin goes up, MicroStrategy goes up harder. On a Monday, That's the power of the Charlie Internet's micro strategy weekend arbitrage opportunity. So there's a lot of plays to be made here. You know, a week uh, micro strategy is essentially acting as a is a Bitcoin derivative. But here's the thing: you can trade trade derivatives on top of micro strategies. Options all of a sudden become available. You can't trade Bitcoin options and the United States of America, but you can trade options on top of micro strategies. Suddenly things start to get a lot more interesting. Don't they? Tendies. Uh, tendies. Tendies. So yeah, do your own, do your own research and all that. Um, but if you subscribe to the idea of the stock to flow model, you know, we're in the middle of a a Bitcoin cycle, price discovery cycle that most likely programmatically baked in is going to end up somewhere around a hundred thousand dollars. You you got twenty more weeks, weekends, opportunities. Twenty more weekend opportunities. Look at this. It flip and follows a chart the thing to a T. The Monday morning snap. So if you know the Monday morning snap's going to hem, it's going to hem. I mean, uh, you know, you're looking at a soft, floppy market on Friday at 1.30 p or 2.30, 12.30 p.m. Pacific time. Um, maybe you'd pick up a MSTR. Flip it. That's the ARB. It's like going to the garage sale and getting that 20-cent He-Man. Selling it for thirty-seven dollars. Okay, 
Same thing as buying a micro strategy on a Friday. Flipping it. Monday. And uh, not financial advice. But there's ARB. There's ARB. And, you know, if you if you cash in attendees with the strategy, send me money. I mean, fuck. I'll put a Bitcoin address down below in the description or something. Fuck it. I'm living in squalor here. All right, guys, make sure to uh, comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, have a good day.